The world ocean is, among other things, home to a rich variety of fishes. These extraordinary creatures are valued for their beauty, their diversity, and because they provide a bountiful source of food. But as valuable as ocean fishes are, there's another group of marine organisms whose contribution to life on planet Earth is even more critical. These are the primary producers, most of them so small that they can't even be seen individually without magnification, yet so important that life probably couldn't exist without them. Primary producers actually produce organic matter, and that would be probably the simplest definition of uh, a primary producer. They're taking energy from the sun or chemical energy from a hydrothermal vent, using that energy to combine carbon molecules essentially to create the carbon-based organic matter that comprises their bodies and then through eating and ingestion by other organisms it com uh, comprises the energy and the materials uh, or the organic matter of all the organisms that depend on that. So really primary producers are producing organic foodstuffs, organic matter, carbon-based molecules, on which all other forms of life depend and exist. While organic material can be created from chemical constituents, a process known as chemosynthesis, it is photosynthesis, the production of organic material from sunlight, that is at the heart of primary production. When you have photosynthesis, the process of taking light to create chemical energy, you're basically producing a variety of different compounds as the fundamental early building blocks of, of life. Primary production is the word we use for sort of the, 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 the activity of plants in the sea. This, this idea of taking the energy of the sun, these photons that come down from the sun, and converting it into chemical energy. And so we, sun you know, might give us a tan, but it isn't actually something we can feed on. Plants have the special character of being able to take that energy and create a chemical bond, a carbon-carbon bond or a phosphate-phosphate bond that stores that energy in the chemical bond. Single-celled uh, plants called phytoplankton, which are, um, that's where it all starts. And they are really critically important uh, on a global scale in that they take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, uh, photosynthesize and turn it into organic matter. Phytoplankton are the plant plankton. The word plankton comes from the Greek word planktos, which just means drifter. So a very simple definition of phytoplankton would be a plant drifter. We contrast that with zooplankton, which are animal drifters. Because they create their own food through either photosynthesis or chemosynthesis, phytoplankton are known as autotrophs. Zooplankton, by contrast, are termed heterotrophs because they derive nourishment by consuming other organisms.